What's up, everyone? Guys, I am having a major foodie culture emergency here, and I want everybody to know what is going on because I have found so much abundance for my diet, for my whole food, plant food, vegan diet, that I am astounded and we are wasting so much food as a society. So I want to show you around what I've been finding. Um, I just cleared out my freezer of all these old snacks from Plant Kingdom, Plant Kingdom Crumbles. So these are available right now. And I just found a bunch of cucumbers. I found these pomegranates. I found like five boxes of these donuts. I'm filling my freezer with strawberries and bananas and grapes for smoothies. Look at this is what's happening. Who needs to buy this many fucking carrots? I'm a single human being. And if I'm going to buy this many carrots, I'm going to live on like just carrot stew for like four or five days. And that is not going to be the what I want. Like basically we're, we're throwing away more because of this bulk packaging. Look at this. And then I found like cauliflower after cauliflower, citrus after citrus after citrus, the whole bags, like I washed these and these have been sitting in um, more moisture, that's why they got more moldy and stuff, but um, these were like in bags where it was like one fifteenth of the bag was tarnished and it's apple after apple in Michigan apple season, this is constant. I found a few just totally good avocados, these scratch and dent cans. Okay, here are sweet potatoes, every kind of potato, all kinds of bread, every kind of fresh fruit you can imagine. Okay, I have more diversity in my diet, pears and more donuts, and I found these big cans of food service cans at Gordon Food Service. Okay, and then these are the apples that we didn't get to fast enough. But check it out, hearts of romaine everywhere, okay? These are like cucumber after cucumber after cucumber, and those cucumbers are fresh. See, like, I, I'm not going to want to make, like, a cucumber. And then I'm finding a lot of these greens. Look at how perfect this looks fine. Look at this. And this was seriously in the garbage. This is organic spinach. And if it's, like, a little, like, three or four days past its due date or something, it's not, like... Um, you can't just bring it home and cook it and it'll taste fine. Look at this. Look at this, this whole bag, because there's a crack in one-ninth of the thing. No, one-seventh. That's one-fourteenth. That's one-half of the cucumber in one bag. Get this thing thrown out. And some brown spots. And then I find this huge thing. I'm going to take a germ wipe over it, but who throws away staple grains like this? Okay, so this is what we're dealing with, yo. I have potato after potato. I need potato um, latte, like, framework. Now, um, things are really, like, freaking um, crazy fruit forest up in my life. And with this need... This absolute need for environmental resource stewardship and stabilization, I have to speak out about just like, I've been trying to live sustainable practices and I didn't know that like straight up, like you do not need to buy produce. Like I am, look at this, all, all this asparagus and corns and, but yes, I mean, buy it if you can, please, but please also salvage it. We want the support of the farmers to have a livelihood. We want the grocery stores to succeed. But please also don't waste it when it needs to be composted. There is a law of Mother Nature that Bolivia planned and Peru have planned that says there, there are levels of abuse to our planet. This is abusing our resources, have to travel this way. Our Ogallala aquifer is drained. The California aquifers are so like drained. Our groundwater is now in the atmosphere. That's what we've done with it. We know how long it takes to trickle back up in there. Like it's not being replenished. Like it's, we're, we're ex extracting it. Like 
30 times faster than it can be replenished from where it's coming from, yo. That's why the storms have gotten crazy. Look at how fucking crazy the water is going. It's not cool, yo. We have to protect it at every fucking facet, and this is an easy enough thing. Stop the trash compactors at the grocery stores, y'all. It's, it's, it's sacrilege. It's, it's, um fucking decimating like our ability to keep people alive we just had a wave of fucking fucking terrible floods in 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 haiti uh, and um oh i'm like gonna put this down okay we just had a wave of floods in haiti so like how is it that there's um uh, one million new people who need more food assistance, whose lives are completely destabilized, and all the people in flood-prone fucking, um, West Virginia and, and Texas that just need, uh, um, a healthy next meal, all the college students and teenagers that we're seeing are the ones, like, frequently falling through the cracks of our social services agencies that are not... Um, food secure, and, and that so many teenagers are struggling and college students are struggling. This is at Aldi's and Discount Drug Mart and Gordon Food Services. They're they're shielding the public from this. That well, they're the ones leaving their dumpsters open. Like thank God, thank you. At least leave the dumpsters open. If you look at safe activities, like this is is you have to be careful. But please, you know, please watch out and be careful and. And go to the news, the dumpster diving etiquette section that I'm posting that is a Food Not Bombs related article. Please go to that. Because what sense does it make? How are we supposed to get the kids to eat their veggies when this is the respect that we're showing for this food in our society? If it's like be slop and filth in the, the garbage just because we grew too many like empty white, I mean, empty fucking, um, like, ugh, I don't want to use this, like, shit. Um, just because we grew too many, Dole is growing too many iceberg heads and salad is not popular enough. And why do this to apples? Fuck, isn't there, like, a baking company that can quickly use these? Like, are we too lazy to ask Mott's to, like make, like, we have, the nation has these, like, supplies of dairy, and they have these, like, <clears throat> we need that, we need that, like, look at what happened with this stupid almond butter recall in 2000, I mean, in, in, like, um, 2011 or 12, when was that? It was awful, okay, we were wasting this almond butter that California... The Maranatha Salmonella Almond Butter Recall was epic, epic resource mismanagement for this country. We fucking are watering almond trees with frack waste, and we can't even fucking, like, get the shit made into cookies. It has to go into the garbage, because a few people, when there's, like, everybody cooks their meat and says, like, oh, we will, like, kill the microbes and shit, so... They think they're fine, and we can't even uh, uh, get the same food safety standard thinking going for, like, a healthy plant food. And, and you wonder why heart attacks and cancer are what are killing people. Okay, straight up. And I am fucking... Look at these organic grapes. These are organic fucking grapes. Do you see any problems with them? Holy shit! Like, these are fine, yo. Like, look at this. There's, like, a couple bad ones. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, organic. Organic stuff. So, my diet's gone from about, um, you know, mostly organic to maybe 15, 20% organic. But still, like, I'm, um, it's even more ecological because this shit's just, like, languishing there if we don't get it and if people don't look out for this 
it just needs to be done right, yeah, like, seriously, this sheet needs to be, like, it does not get worse, okay? Fucking help the hungry. Fucking help the hungry, and fucking don't do this to the healthy food. At least compost the water so that it can stay in the water cycle. Is this not teaching you anything about the pipelines bursting and the radioactive frack waste dangers of transmitting the radioactive frack waste around the country on barges and pipelines and trucks and fucking um, all, all the leaky wellheads. This is methane for our landfills. A lot of the waste going to landfills is food waste. And we're decimating California. We're making people pick this shit. The same Republicans who are so up in arms about the immigration is, is that, like, this is what we're doing, guys. If we stop food waste, we will be more resource resilient and we won't need to be, um... We won't need to be, um having people pick the shit just to keep up with the shit so it could be thrown out because of this date shit. So please stay alert. And I think I made my point that you know, this needs to be done. Apparently this is a billion dollar problem and it just irks me so much knowing that like, um, fuck, like, you know, here it is, guys. If you need to start a cooking class, everyone should be in on this. The psych wards, the jails. This is what we need. Green jobs for the non-recidivists, right? Because we're not going to let people fucking fall back into criminal behavior. Here's something so incredibly needed and positive. Water. Water and energy and nutrients. Fucking at least don't let it become slop in the filth pit, like, of our nation, you know? Um, follow Omega Fat's action. I'll give you a rundown on, like, the climate leadership. So we're asking climate leaders to make sustainable menu um, commitments um, and help us with the jail psych wards and schools. Um, and we're asking mental health leaders to facilitate brain supportive nutritional wellness education that includes Eat the Rainbow and um, Omega-3 Fat Balance Promotion. And we want to support a sustainable response to Omega-3 deficiency. That's why Omega Fats Action was founded. And we are following the health hazards with a coalition of agriculture progress activists. Um... We're following the health hazards, trans fats, and Roundup, and hot dogs. Trans fats, Roundup, hot dogs. And we are fighting the manure pollution and the toxic discharges from the slaughter plants. So what we're going to have, what we have now, is that um, Cargill is number four, Tyson is number one. AK Steel and Tyson are tied for number one. So you could look at this as like, okay, Tyson is the most rank. And it is the most painful. It's the most painful of the dead zones. Okay, because they're cutting off 40 million heads a week. Okay, and yes, we brought you this disaster. I still have to look up the presidential turkey pardon. But basically... Obama is uh, never expressed concern for animal welfare during his turkey pardon. Look at this. I just want to say I found all of these. These were in the garbage and literally there were like three or four grapes that had like little bursts in them and stuff that weren't even moldy yet. What? It's like, oh my god, these are the standards? Like, it's a miracle that we're finding this. Like, I mean, it's a miracle that, um, that we can, we can mobilize to stop this. When there's, like, these bad, bad, bad practices. So sing a song. Ahem. <clears throat> we're free to fight for cleanness in the world. The cleanest, the cleanest for life. We're with Standing Rock, 
We're a four standing rock. Uh oh, running out of oil and I. Uh oh. Don't give up, don't give up. No dapple. Don't give up, don't give up. Don't give up, no dapple. And then, um, then I got this, uh, look at these. I mean, that this is gonna be some smoothie boosting grapes here. You know what, I'm gonna make them smaller. Do something ecological here. Um. Don't give up. No, no, no. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. So, oh yeah. Um. So the gist of it is um, that, <laughs> let me tell you about how exciting the revolutions are right now. Um, the, the Trump, Trump vote uh, fiasco with the popular vote not meshing with the, um, with the electoral, electoral results. Now, we're gonna have, um, food not bombs be there to say just justice, uh, just justice. And people are out, what is important to understand, um, when these talking heads on the right accuse Soros of planting protesters in, um, in liberal protests and stuff. It's just that we are protesting Trump, um, Trump's policies and the racism and, um, uh, you know, inequalities, in injustices, the racial injustices, um, in general, you know, not just perpetrated by him but perpetrated by his followers. I, you know, I don't think that Don himself harbors like such a disdain for, for people like, like, like actual racism. I think he can be equally offensive is what I'm saying. Like, let's, you know, let's give this guy a chance to try to, um, you know, be, uh, what he was voted into being, which is kind of like a figurehead for middle America, um, and conservative America, and the Republican Party, and, um, the gun rights and, um, abortion ban, banning, um, and, and the, the alt-right. So, um... You know, but he, he doesn't have a mandate. He has a mandate from his constituency. You know, and then Hillary has a mandate from her constituency. Her mandate is 2 million voters. She attracted the support of 2 million more voters. Um, which is saying a lot. I mean, the, the, the odds of this happening that... Um, Hillary only needs a little more than 100,000 votes to catch up in the swing states, right? Um, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. So, it's basically the swing, those swing states, um, uh, voters were, had 15 times more power. Because you could spread out 20 times. You could spread out Hillary's lead, um, into those states 20 times over. So, like, it's just geography, yo. I went to school for geography, and this is starting to get into a theoretical zone where it is really unfathomable to think that the division and the schism 
the schism could be so broad between the states when, like, people are basically getting a lot of the same information. I mean, come on, is it really fair? No, I mean, we know that the, the Republican uh, constituency um, fell for more fake news than the liberals. I mean, that's unsettling, yo, but we also know, like, hey, let's, let's be frank. There's a lot of misleadership out there. And we have every reason to be um, critical of anyone who, who is, is just not doing their, their best on behalf of the American people to say, you know, we're definitely not being misled. I mean, I think, I think we can both kind of feel like a little put off with being misled like this. Um, whereas you look at, um, you know, these instantaneous where, like, it's so wrong that we have to, um, like, no wonder people are angry because here is, like, this example of, like, Donald really, he didn't win the swing voters as much as Hillary did. I mean, you can't just say that the Democratic base is bigger. There's some people in there that, you know, I mean, for sure we're, we're with Johnson. Look at how many votes Johnson got. Like, if, if, if Trump had gotten, I don't know, I mean, if, you know, I mean, those votes were there, they weren't, like, not there. What do we really say from those votes? It's not a vote of confidence in Hillary or Donald. Um, I think what we can say from the Greens is that, well, you know what, this is surprising, but but it's 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 often that a lot of us hippies live in a liberal bubble. And it's, it's, um, imperative to call it out and say, you know what, Greens, you do need to really help now and do the heavy lifting because, because it was, uh, Jill's margin in, in, um, Wisconsin and, 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 um, Michigan that lost it, dude. Like, whoo, like that is cutting it too close, you know, like, what if she hadn't, what if she had kept up in, in Pennsylvania, I mean, huge mistake, I mean, Hillary, I had no, I had an inkling that, that Trump was really popular in the Pennsylvania countryside, but I had no idea that, um, you weren't even trying in, like, outside of, Philly and, and Pittsburgh. That's very upsetting, hon. And I noticed that your signs were smaller. So what's with that? Why were Hillary's signs smaller? Does it make any sense? I don't get it. When, like, we need, um, Trump's were easier to read. And that helped with, you know, it was, a. Uh, it was kind of a bold, a bold and patriotic Trump design. And, um, you know, Clinton's was more, just more subdued. Clinton Kane arrow. The, the letters do not even come close to filling up the sign in the, um, that's what really just, like, can, was somebody going to point that out? Like... Shit, and then, and then it's like stupid things like this. We're like, the um, Akron Public School, look at this, free grapes I am putting away for smoothies. Yes, I'm going to have great banana strawberry smoothies in a phantasmical abundance. <clears throat> well, guys, I feel like we're still united as a nation. Come on. 
if our union and our republic can withstand this, it's just important that we hold people to just the same kinds of standards that, that we want from... The thing is, with Democrats, you have to understand, like, the Republicans want government out of the way, and Democrats, I think, just want, like, good government. I just think, like, good government, you know, we want the government to be able to be at the forefront of justice and, you know, just using the police power to protect the people, which is really the authority of government. Like, I, I took these classes, um, and we learned about the police power, and that is, like, uh, how the, um police have to look after for the general welfare the just general welfare you know and we all believe in the things like the liberty bell and the um the Const the bill of rights you know i think this this um fake news scenario is really testing our first amendment right right i mean this is uh just misleading and wrong shit that's just being peddled as as legit shit just to like keep people occupied and uh that's scary that's not conducive to a um democratic republic you you know we want people to be basing their votes on information so people the 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 coal country for trump the gun voters for trump the um pro life uh, for Trump, for, um, what is it, like, more greedy, more gr just, just greedy, um, oh, like, low taxation, you know, admit that, like, you know, Hillary did use the same kind of, like, stuff that basically Obama used, like, we'll have green energy, we'll have a progressive tax rate that, forces the 1% to pay a fair share, uh, pay a, um, you know, larger tax rate than under, you know, Trump. But, like, under this low tax rate stuff, you're also basically, like, um, you know, you're, we're, we're, we're doing it at a time when our um, highway trust fund is really tanked and we're having a, a transportation funding crisis that's been ongoing since since I got involved with clean air politics in 2008 okay and that's like a matter of um really important to the nation because the gas tax isn't keeping up um and the the um you know the amount people pay on public transportation is never like a public transportation is always needed public support. So I hope we see many, like, common sense quality of life things, you know, obviously maintained under, under, um, a Trump if he survives these challenges, and <clears throat> I just think the only thing to do is open back up the polls. Now the, now that every state, every count is thrown into chaos because there's accusations on the right and on Infowars, that um, millions of undocumented immigrants and uh, dead people were casting ballots this election, showing um, he's accused um, the Hillary campaign of meddling in in, in swing states uh, that she won. Um, she, you know, she won four swing states and. You know, th those are the ones that he's saying um, she could have had uh, in undue influence. And, uh, and this is, like, really outlandish because, um, you know, it's like to orchestrate something like that is really impressive. I mean, a bunch of undocumented immigrants can can orchestrate their, their voting. Um... um with, you know, with, you have to have a social security number and a, and or a license number to get registered. I mean, either this, this happens solely in states with no ID requirements and, 
Um, and it happened in those states where the secretaries of states weren't checking to make sure that the the um, uh, social security numbers were right. I mean, if an illegal immigrant tries to write just a fake number on it and then they just show up with no ID, I mean, then I guess it could happen, but... But does that, does that make any sense? Like, why would that, why would that be passed through to get on the voter rolls? Why would illegal immigrants be able to get on the voter rolls? I mean, and I don't, I, I am reticent to believe that. And no one is illegal, by the way. I mean, we are putting people through so much shit when, like, the, um... I haven't heard that much, like, of shit falling apart because, like, I, I'd much rather that we, we accept Syrian refugees just to bear the burden with the nation, with the world because, um, because Greece has, like, a million, you know? Uh, Greece has a million. As a proportion of their population, it's like us, if we had, that would be like us having 36 million of like, uh, of, of, you know, like that's so much as a proportion because, because the Greece population is like six or seven million or something, right? And so anyway, I talked to the EU ambassador, um, uh, the US ambassador to the, to the EU about it, about it briefly and told him that we supported healthy snacks and... Um, asked him to, to support a ban on Roundup herbicide. And I um, just think that, you know, we can do things, like, right? We can do things that are, like, not the wall, but, like, leading up to that, like, you know, enforcement, like, wherever the, the cracks are in the system, I, I don't, like, not trust Hillary or Obama to be serious about it. I mean, it's a serious thing, right? Like, we've got to maintain, like, a sense of, of social social um, inclusion that is not going to be ripped up and torn apart because of, um, you know, people have the right to speak their, their language or their heritage, but you know, that our communities, you know, aren't going to be, like, overrun with Cerveza. I mean, come on. Like, there's there's a lot of just trashy people out there that aren't doing their part in the community, and, and it's unfair to scapegoat racial and ethnic minorities to any greater extent for messing up our communities in some way because there's a lot of, like, you know, a lot of problems that nobody's doing anything about, right? Like the, um, the idling of our cars, like, we are wasting gas while, like, 